cardiology focuses on heart and blood vessel disorders. The aortic arch is an important part of the cardiovascular system, supplying blood to the head, neck, and upper extremities. We will discuss 12 topics related to the aortic arch, covering diagnosis and management of related conditions. The aortic arch, located just beyond the heart, has a curved shape that optimizes blood flow to the brain and upper extremities. Understanding its anatomy is crucial to comprehend the effects of diseases and ensure prompt diagnosis and treatment. Aortic arch aneurysms are abnormal dilations of the aortic arch walls. They can be caused by various factors and are typically asymptomatic until they become large. Early detection through imaging is important for effective management, which can range from conservative approaches to surgical interventions. Aortic dissection is a serious condition where the aortic wall tears, creating a false lumen. It is a medical emergency. Type A affects the ascending aorta, and type B affects the descending aorta. Symptoms can vary, and prompt diagnosis is crucial. Type A usually requires surgery, while type B can be managed with medication and stenting. Coarctation of the aorta is a common congenital heart defect, causing narrowing of the aorta. This results in increased pressure before the narrowing and decreased pressure after it, leading to various symptoms. Treatment options include angioplasty, stent placement, or surgery. Takayasu arteritis is a rare chronic inflammatory disease that primarily affects large vessels, such as the aortic arch. It mainly affects young females and causes arterial wall inflammation and fibrosis. Symptoms can vary depending on the affected vessels. Diagnosis involves clinical findings and imaging studies, with treatment focusing on controlling inflammation and preventing further damage. Aortitis is inflammation of the aortic wall. It can be caused by infection, autoimmune diseases, or giant cell arteritis. It can lead to vessel thickening, narrowing, aneurysm, dissection, or thrombosis. Diagnosis involves clinical findings, imaging, and lab tests. Treatment targets the underlying cause and may include medications or surgery. Aortic arch thrombosis is a relatively rare condition characterized by the formation of blood clots within the aortic arch, which can obstruct blood flow and potentially result in severe ischemic events. The underlying mechanisms can include abnormalities in blood coagulation, vasculopathy, or the formation of thrombi secondary to other cardiovascular disorders. The clinical presentation of aortic arch thrombosis can be variable and may include symptoms such as sudden onset of severe thoracic pain, dyspnea, and neurologic deficits. Diagnostic modalities such as CTA, T, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, can aid in confirming the diagnosis. Management options include anticoagulation therapy, thrombolysis, and occasionally surgical intervention if necessary. Comoral's diverticulum is a rare congenital abnormality involving an outpouching of the aorta, usually at the origin of an aberrant subclavian artery. This anatomical variant can result in various clinical manifestations, including complications such as aneurysm formation or compression of adjacent structures. Diagnosing Comoral's diverticulum often requires imaging studies such as CTA or MRI, which can help delineate the abnormal anatomy and assess for associated complications. Management principles depend on the individual patient's symptoms and the presence of complications. Observation, medical therapy, or surgical intervention may be considered to address any related cardiovascular issues. Aortic arch stenosis narrows the aortic arch, impacting blood flow and causing clinical issues. Etiologies include atherosclerosis, embolic events, radiation therapy, or congenital abnormalities. Diagnosis uses imaging, and treatment options range from medication to surgical interventions or endovascular techniques. Aortic arch embolism occurs when blood clots or other debris dislodge from a proximal source and obstruct blood flow in the aortic arch and its major branches. Common causes of aortic arch embolism include cardiac sources such as atrial fibrillation, valvular diseases, or left ventricular thrombi. The clinical presentation of aortic arch embolism can be dramatic and often include sudden onset of severe pain, numbness, or weakness in the affected extremities. Prompt diagnosis and management are essential to minimize tissue damage and preserve limb function. Imaging studies, such as CTA or Doppler ultrasonography, can aid in identifying the source of embolism and determining appropriate therapeutic approaches, which may include anticoagulation, thrombolysis, or surgical intervention. Surgical techniques for aortic arch pathologies have evolved significantly over the years, with advances in technology and surgical expertise contributing to improved patient outcomes. Aortic arch surgery requires precise anatomical knowledge, circulatory management strategies, and specialized approaches to safely address various diseases affecting this complex region. Multiple surgical options exist, including open repair, hybrid procedures, and endovascular techniques, each with its specific indications and considerations. 
The choice of approach depends on factors such as the underlying pathology, stability of the patient, and surgical expertise available. Continuous innovation within this field continues to refine these techniques, ensuring both improved safety and long-term durability of surgical interventions. Aortic arch syndrome refers to a group of conditions affecting the great vessels in the aortic arch. Causes include inflammation, atherosclerosis, or embolism. Symptoms vary depending on the affected vessel. Diagnosis is challenging and requires a thorough evaluation. Treatment involves medical therapy and interventions. Aortic arch diseases are significant in cardiology, impacting patient health. Understanding their structure, function, and clinical implications allows accurate diagnoses and optimal care. This comprehensive material provides detailed insights for medical students to develop a thorough understanding and improve patient outcomes. Ongoing research and advancements will shape the field.